There is something pensive about seeing aging athletes past their prime. Take the field to compete one more time. Having already won far beyond fair share, while learning clearly how losing feels, yet, yet I must confess, much to my surprise, when Super Sunday arrives and he emerges from that tunnel, I will offer a little respect never having cheered for Tom Brady even faintly throughout all of his patriot years. He seldom started at Michigan, suffered serious anxiety and frustration, almost, almost withdrew. Following graduation, he was selected 199th overall during the sixth round of the pro draft. Soon a knee injury kept him from playing for an entire season. Later, when he was told to get a grip, he deflated the football Scandal and suspension could have ended his career. His politics plus dynasty privilege caused controversy. It's impossible to always separate confidence from cockiness. He still exhibits little emotion winces following an incompletion, smiles slightly when a play seems to succeed. No end zone acrobatics. He gets plenty of sleep to keep clear-minded works out beyond team requirements. The contest, the contest is between a vegan and lots of ketchup on steak opponent. My loyalty is to Patrick and our team, but cancer and pandemics are serious as it gets. Sports like football offer a brief respite. So let's lie back and enjoy the chance. There may be no more next season for Tom Brady, or he could return again. While on an elementary playground somewhere, a youngster announces, I'm going to beat that old man Mahomes one day in the Super Bowl.